In the Fingerstyle Magazine article I wrote about playing rhythm guitar, I talked about two different scenarios. One where you're with a band and there's a drummer and a bass player, and the other situation where you're playing solo guitar or you're accompanying a singer or another instrumentalist. Now, in the band situation, I'm just part of the rhythm section, and I let the dynamics of the band determine how intense I'm going to play and how I accent. When I'm in a solo situation or with another player, I try to emulate a drum set as much as I can, the kick, snare, and the hi-hat mainly. So if I have a groove that goes kick, kick, snare, kick, kick, snare, and the hi-hat is, I'll try to uh, pr probably approach it like this. Now depending on the groove, if it's a slower groove, I might play more open chords. If it's a faster groove, I'll play more closed chords. It's a combination of the right hand playing rhythm, you get the hi-hat going, and the left hand muting. See, I'm letting up when I hit that snare. I'm going to play some drum grooves for you, and I want to thank Nathan Smith from Mainframe Recording Studio for putting these together for me. Here's the first groove. Okay, this groove is kick, snare, kick, kick, snare, while the hi-hat is... So put them all together. Kick, snare, kick, kick, snare. Okay, this is kick, snare, kick, kick, snare, kick, snare, kick, kick, snare. Well, the hi-hat is... Put that all together. Okay, this one is kick, kick, snare, kick, kick, snare. Kick, kick, snare. Well, the hi hat is. Okay, because of the tempo on this one, it's a little slower. I might play more open chords on this one. Okay, this is a fun one. This is a train groove. It's pretty straight ahead. The kick is kick, 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 while the snare is and it's moving along pretty good. The hi-hat really is just like, you know, left foot, just quarter notes. But uh, put this all together. Up to this point, I've been using a flat pick for everything, but I play a lot of fingerstyle guitar and I usually use a thumb pick. And when I'm with another guitar player, if I'm going to start playing rhythm, I use my first three fingers. I don't really uh, hit the strings with my thumb pick when I'm playing rhythm. So, for example, the train groove. Okay, this is a shuffle. It's pretty straight ahead. The kick is kick, kick, kick. Kick, well, the, the snare is kick, 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 snare, kick, snare, you know, and then the hi-hat is, so you put it all together. Now, this kind of groove you can turn into a reggae groove pretty easily by just, you know, making a few adjustments in your accents. So, it's a combination of muting with the left hand and how you're hitting the, how you're accenting with the right hand. I think playing rhythm guitar is an often overlooked subtle art, and uh, I've spent a lot of time playing acoustic rhythm guitar in the studio and live. 
I mean, I also play lead guitar too, but when I'm playing lead, I like to have a really solid groove behind me. And when I'm playing rhythm guitar for another player, I want to provide a really solid groove to uh, just support what they're doing. I hope I've given you some ideas today. If you want to check out my website, it's timthompsonguitar.com. Or if you go to MySpace, it's myspace.com forward slash timthompsonguitar. Thanks for watching.